Hey, what's up guys? So a lot of you recently have been asking about using your phones as dash cams. Phones have great cameras installed. You've already got them with you in the car. You can just toss it on a mount, plug in a power cable, and now there's even apps available that effectively turn your phone uh, and the cameras that it has into a dash cam. Now that said, while you can technically do it, practically speaking, it's actually a pretty bad idea. In fact, it's actually very similar to using your GoPro as a dash cam. Again, great video quality, and you can certainly do it, but realistically, it doesn't actually work out that well in practice. And so in this video, I wanna go ahead and talk about what it's like if you wanna take your phone, pop it on the windshield, and actually run it as a dash cam. Now, the first issue that you're gonna run into if you've got your phone actually installed in your dash and recording set up as a dash cam uh, is gonna be overheating. Now, if you're driving around in cold parts of the country or just in the wintertime or something, this is gonna be less of an issue. But if you're driving around in hotter weather, your phone is gonna be regularly overheating, especially when you've got the camera running and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I see it with the iPhone where it kind of uh, overheats and then it goes into like this emergency shutdown mode, kind of a limp mode where uh, all the apps shut down, you can't use your phone for anything, and you just kind of have to like activate this emergency mode uh, in case you need to make a 911 call or something. But otherwise the phone needs to be cooled off uh, so that you can start using it again. And I'll literally take my phone off the dash and I'll put it in front of an AC vent or something just to cool it off so I can use it again so my Google Maps and everything starts working again. Uh, I say the same thing with my Android phones where in hotter weather it will overheat, it will start shutting apps down, and I can't use it anymore. Um, so it applies to both. And in fact, I know they just announced the iPhone 14 and one of the things that they mentioned is that uh, it does better in hotter temperatures. iPhone 14 also has an updated internal design that improves thermal performance, which is great for staying in the action longer. My first thought when I heard that is maybe I can actually use it reliably uh, on my dash. That's not the case with the iPhone 12 and my Android either, uh, even with the AC running and all that kind of stuff. It's just heat is definitely an issue. My dash cams definitely work better. They also have their issues uh, in really hot weather, but their heat tolerances are much higher than what I see with phones. And so when it comes to just driving around and having it function and making sure that it's recording, a dash cam is definitely gonna be much more reliable uh, and functional in that respect than a phone. Now that said, let's say you're doing most of your driving in colder parts of the country or in the winter time or something or whatever the case is. And just let's say for the sake of discussion that overheating is not an issue. Cool, that's great, but you're still gonna be running into some additional practical limitations that I think are actually even a bigger deal than potential overheating issues. Now think about what a dash cam is fundamentally designed to do. It's designed to be kind of like an extension of your car's security system. It's basically a box that you stick on your windshield and it's always there recording, right? So when you're driving to work, if you're driving your kids to school, it's just kind of this silent box that's recording in the background. Hopefully you never need it, kind of like insurance, but if you ever do, it's there and it's recording. So let's say there's an accident or a hit and run or whatever, you didn't even have to think about it, but luckily you've got the dash cam recording. That's not how a phone is gonna work. A phone, you're gonna wanna actually set it up, okay, plug it in, run the app, all that kind of stuff, and then once you're done driving, you're gonna wanna take it down. Otherwise, if you leave it in the car, a thief is gonna see the phone on your dash and it's just gonna say, steal me, right? So they're gonna wanna break into the car and steal your phone. A phone, you're gonna wanna take down every time you get out of the car, which means every time you get back in the car, you're gonna wanna put it back up. And when you're busy, you're doing this every time you're getting in and out of the car, you're busy, you just wanna get to work or go to the grocery store or whatever, it's easy to just forget to do this every single time. A dash cam is great because you can just install it and effectively set it and forget it. Now there's definitely people who don't mind necessarily putting your phone up every time you drive. And if that's the case, okay, you can make it work. Um, but myself personally, I'm busy with life. It's really easy to forget it. And it's not something that I'm gonna do every time versus dash cam, again, you just install it. Plus it's also gonna be there for parking recording, right? A phone, you're gonna to wanna to take down every time you park so it doesn't get stolen. Uh, a dash cam you can leave installed up and running and it's there in case of a hit and run or whatever happens, you've got that dash cam actually recording and keeping your car protected. And so it's fundamentally designed to just operate differently than a phone to where you install it, hardwire, run the cables, you know, tuck everything away so it's clean and out of sight, uh, but it's still there recording and keeping you protected both while you're driving and while you're parked versus a phone, to put it up, take it down, and just that headache means either you're gonna have to deal with the extra headache every time you get in and out of the car, or realistically, like in my case, you're just gonna forget and it becomes an annoyance and you want something that you can just install, run in the background, never have to touch it, and it's always there recording. And so while yes, you can certainly put a phone on your dash and run a dash cam app and plug in a power cable and put it up and take it down and all that kind of stuff, that's a big difference between something that technically works and something that's practically beneficial to where you can just install it and never have to think about it. And in case anything ever happens, you know it's always there, it's always recording, and it's always got your back, which is really what the dash cam is designed to be for.
Now that said, from a video quality standpoint, I think it could certainly be interesting to do a comparison of like, what's the quality like here with these sensors versus what we have on a dash cam. And I'd like to do a head-to-head -head comparison at some point, but because it's not gonna be practically beneficial to actually use your phone as a dash cam, even though there are some people who choose to do it, it's not actually that high on my priority list. And so I'd like to do kind of a, a video quality comparison just from the standpoint of like, what would it be like if we took kind of phone sensors, right, and lenses and put them uh, into a dash cam? Would the quality be better? Uh, how much better would it be at maybe recording multiple camera angles or capturing license plates or faces or details? Like, I think it would be interesting just from that kind of academic standpoint, but from a practical standpoint, it's not actually gonna solve the issues that we need of like having a dash cam installed in the car and is always running and is always keeping you protected. And so um, it's on my list to test just from like a curiosity standpoint, but it's not something that I would actually take seriously as a replacement to a dash cam. A dash cam is designed to fundamentally do something different than what a phone is doing, even though a phone could be used as a dash cam, just like a GoPro could be installed to run as a dash cam. I think GoPros and phones are great for just kind of like throw it on the windshield real quick and record, you know, if you're going for a nice road trip or you're hitting the track or just something for like temporary usage once or twice. But for kind of like permanent installation, something that's always installed and running, works if it's hot or cold, driving or parked, whether you forget about it or not, it's just there and it's recording. That's what a dash cam is for. And so for that reason, if you want a dash cam, get a dash cam. <laughs> if you just want something to use every now and then, and you're not concerned about, you know, getting reliable protection against accidents or hit and runs or whatever, yeah, don't get a dash cam. Just throw a phone on the windshield, uh, grab a GoPro, toss it on the windshield instead. And then that would actually meet your needs for that specific use case. But I think for most people, a dash cam is really going to be the way to go. Uh, if you want a recommendation on a good dash cam with different features and different price points, front recording, rear recording, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got a link in the video description that goes over my top picks uh, with different features and at different price points. And so with that said, yeah, that's just a quick run through as far as kind of uh, some of the main limitations of using a phone as a dash cam and why I would certainly not do it and why I generally don't recommend it in practice, even though it technically is possible, it's just not practically, realistically a good idea to run day to day. And those are the main reasons why. And so, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're all doing great and I'll see you in the next video.